inclined plane. A 25 kilogram box is located 8 meter up a ramp inclined at an angle of 18 degrees to the horizontal. Determine the work done by the force of gravity as the box slides to the bottom of the ramp. Determine the minimum force acting at an angle of 40 degrees to the horizontal required to slide the box back up the ramp. This is a very interesting question and I like you to pause the video and try it yourself and then look into my suggestion right so to do these problems it's important to sketch a diagram and then understand the situation so let's sketch this figure so it is an inclined plane and this inclination is at an angle of 18 degrees right so we have an inclined plane here and this angle is 18 degrees and what we are given is that there is a box which is 25 kilograms so let's assume this is the box which is 25 kilograms since it is 25 kilograms it will exert a force due to gravity and this force due to gravity is equals to mass into gravity right and in this case it is 25 times 9.8 newtons correct so which we can calculate first so 25 times 9.8 equals to 245 now this is very critical step you should not miss this part right force is mass into gravity right acceleration due to gravity now so that is the force acting on the box because of this force the box is actually sliding downwards what we are also assuming here is this inclined plane has no friction at all so the net force acting is due to this weight itself right and the angle it makes if you see this triangle right this is a right triangle now in this right triangle if we have 18 degrees here then this has to be 90 degrees minus 18 that is 72 so this is 72 degrees now it says that 25 kilogram box is located 8 meters up a ramp. So this distance from here to there is 8 meters. Right? So because of this force, the box slides up to this point, which is 8 meters away. So we have displacement vector whose magnitude is 8 meters and we have a force vector whose magnitude is 245 newtons and we have an angle theta between the two which is 72 degrees correct and now from here we can find the work done work done is force dot product of force and displacement so which is magnitude of force and this force is due to gravity so let me write g here it will help us now displacement cos of 72 degrees right so now force is 245 so we have 245 times 8 cos of 72 degrees so you can use the calculator and calculate 245 times 8 times cos of 72 gives us 60567 so we get work done 605.67 right that could be written approximately as 605.7 joules newton meters or joules right so one and the same thing okay so that is the work done now part two is determine the minimum force acting at an angle of 40 degrees to the horizontal required to slide the box back up the ramp so let's redraw this now now the situation is that the box is already right there at the bottom and we're trying to push it back right so let's say here now the box is right here at the bottom right now we're trying to push it back but this time with a force which is acting at a 40 degrees angle to the horizontal so the force is acting at an angle which is 40 degrees now let's work out the angles 
we have this angle is 18 degrees and the total angle is 40 so how much is this that is 40 degrees minus 18 right and that gives us 22 degrees so it is 22 degrees over the inclined plane now let us say that the magnitude of this force is F then the force which is helping us to move this box up the inclined plane is the cosine component of this force right so so the upward force let's say F is the force so we say the force which is acting to move it up is actually the force times cos of 22 degrees right so it's a component of this force which is resisting the force of gravity acting on the box right so that is the upward force now this force should be at least equal to I should say it should be greater than or equal to the force which is pushing the box downwards as we saw here the force which is pushing the box downwards is due to the gravity is f of g cosine of 72 degrees so that is pushing it downwards so the upward force has to be greater than this right so that is what it is so from here we can find what f is so we can find f as you can write here slightly greater than now f of g is given to us as 245 so we have 245 times cos of 72 degrees divided by cos of 22 degrees let's calculate this so we get 245 times cos of 72 degrees equals 2 and then we divide this by cos of 22 degrees 81.65 so we get this equals to 81.65 right so we can approximate this to 81.7 so now our answer therefore is that minimum force required should be greater than 81.7 right so greater than 81.7 newtons right so that is the minimum required 81.7 and it has to be more than this so that we can push it upwards along this inclined plane when we are applying this force at an angle of 40 degrees to the horizontal right so that is how we will do this kind of problem i hope you understand the concept so two important things here are that in the state of equilibrium this force which is bringing it down should be equal to the upward force but if you have to really push it up then that force has to be more than that right that is what it is thank you